What's up you guys? Avery here bringing you another burn deck profile. I know that this is like the one millionth one that I've done or third one, whatever it is, but I want to actually bring you two separate decks. Uh, me and my dad are actually here to discuss with you today talking about burn. We're going to be talking about chain energy number one and then we are also going to be talking about burn number one and how these two decks vary. It's going to be more of a discussion than a deck profile, so sit back relax and enjoy so let's go ahead and start off with the chain energy one here i'm going to go through the deck list and then i'm going to kind of talk uh with you guys here with my dad and ask him some questions about some card choices and then we'll go from there so to start off we got two lava golem two swiss scarecrow two battle fader one Raggeki, one one day of peace and well, just one dark hole then we got three card of demise three pot of duality three chain energy three wabaku three secret blast three secret barrel three threatening roar two ceasefire three balance of judgment Three Try and Guess, two Blazing Mirror Force. Extra deck is simply for the Try and Guess. Then we got two Maxi inside. So, what everyone's going to be asking from the get-go, why are you not main decking Maxi like everybody else? I don't use Maxi because with this type of deck, they're running meta. They know they can stop their special summoning because you're not going to OTK them the next turn. They don't have to go through all that to uh, try to OTK you because they know they're not going to get... Uh, they're not going to get OTK in the next turn, so they can they can leave a weak monster sitting on the field and not have to worry about it. So you don't draw tons of cards. They don't have they on OTK you. And my next question is, why are you playing Raigeki and Dark Hole instead of other burn cards? That would clear their field. They go to all the work to a special summon, load their field up, and they take 500 damage with Chain Energy every time they uh, activate a card from their hand. And then bring it to the field. That's a thousand right there. So the activating hand is five hundred. Comes to the field, it's five hundred. And just uh, bringing a card to the field, setting spell trap or monster. It's just only five hundred. So they get all the work to load the field up. Then you uh, right get your dark hole. And uh, they went through all that work for nothing. Took all that damage, and they start all over again. Now, something I've said in my previous videos is that. <clears throat> you have been a big proponent of Card of Demise as well as Pot of Desires because you feel like that you lose resources. Uh, but I've noticed how you've been kind of going back on that, and now you're playing three balance of judgment. And you told me about like how you've been able to draw four off of it and stuff like that. What is your opinion on cards like Balance of Judgment and Card of Demise in this format, uh, along with Pot of Desires? Uh, part of Pot of Desires that banishes. So I mean, you need all your resources. Every card in here has a purpose. You can't afford to banish it. You need to you need to use it. And know? this is coming from someone who's played Chamber of like six years, you guys. Yeah, it just doesn't it banish zone does nothing for this. You need every every resource you have. Just to draw two cards, not worth it. Now we talked about this. I also wanted to talk about the burn number one here. Uh and actually, real quick before I go to this uh, other deck, I also want to mention too, why are you playing three Try and Guess? Because I know not a lot of Chamber decks right now are playing this. Well, you have so much stall in there. Um, you know, in your life points, you really want to protect your life points. Especially once you get the time, you can activate that, get 3,000, and keep your life points. Because you're going to go into time with this, usually. So, um, with that Try and Guess there, you're going to be uh, setting and activating cards. You're going to be taking damage as well. Slowly taking damage like your opponent. And, uh, you know, you activate this, you can boost your life points back up, and uh, you can last longer in the duel. Or like I said, especially you get the time that can save you. Kind of like a golden ladybug. You can, it'll, like, you can activate it, kind of gain 3,000, and sort of save yourself from losing. Yeah, but way. now, see, with that ladybug activates in hand, you're going to take damage. So, you actually, you'll gain 500 from ladybug, and then you'll take 500 damage because of chain energy. There's an activation. And battle fader is the same way. Battle fader activates in hand is 500. And then when you bring it to the field, it's another 500. If you have two chain energies up, you're going to take 2,000. So you have to be careful with that. And at Card of Demise and Balance of Judgment, they, you have to be careful when you activate those. You know, when you go to your opponent's turn, you want to activate your burn cards, the stall cards, get those off the field, then use your Balance of Judgment to draw. And then next turn, you know, load the field up and actually activate your Card of Demise. And he said 2,000 on the battle for you guys because you have to pay 500 in hand and then another 500 to summon. So chain energy can hurt you too. you got to keep that in mind. Yeah. All right, we're all set? Yep. All right, so next one. There's only going to be a few variations, but it's still something to look over for you guys that don't want to play Zoo and want to play Burn. So this is the same thing, but we're not playing chain energy, and instead we're kind of going the Justice Earth to Jama Trio style. Now, what, and, and of course Thunder Ruler, what, 
<coughs> would you say out of these two builds is the better build, or do you think it depends on the play style? I think this is the better build because there's so much popping. You know, those chain energies aren't going to stay on the field very long. But, you know, if you open up the two of them and you go first, you open the two and have your, uh, well, first you want to set your back row. Then you put them both face down and flip them up. Your opponent's going to have to start off taking a 1,000 every time they activate something. Unless they have Twin Twister, they open up with it. It only costs them 500 to get rid of those chain energies. But uh, with the other deck, if you open up with it, it's, it's very powerful. They're going to have a heart. They're going to have to do a lot of uh, activations and kill their life points within a few uh, activations of cards. And this here is more of a slow burn. You have the just desserts, you know, Jama Trios in this, the load of the field up. Uh, you know, and it slows them down. And also with the uh, balance of judgment, you get a uh, better use out of those with the Jama Trio. You get that on their side of the field. What do you think about the new Secret Blast? That's good. You know, especially with the Jama Trio, it helps out with that. Now you have your two other zones, the, the pendulums. That's two more uh, helpful zones there to uh, get more activate, more use out of those uh, secret blasts. Until they move to the spell and trap zone. <laughs> yeah. Well, when, when they do the uh, link summoning, that's going to be interesting how it's going to affect all That'll of these. That'll be another uh, card zone that you'll be able to damage them with for both so secret blasts and secret This blast. one here seems to be more effective because it's slower, has more stall, <laughs> more stall in it, and uh, just seems to be a little better. Uh, and as I mentioned, you guys, there's not a lot of differences in this build. As you can tell from both builds, though, they are not um, regular chain burn builds where you're playing like accumulated and chain strike and all that. Um, but from from someone who's been playing chain burn or just even burn in general for like six plus years, what would you say is your favorite build to burn? Chain and uh, chain burn. That that's been your favorite build yeah. throughout all these years. Got some, <laughs> got two invites for that a few years ago. That is true, you guys. He went like X3 twice, and he got his invite twice. I was so pissed. Um, Blazing Mirror Force, also keep that in mind with you guys that it hurts you first. So keep in mind it could potentially kill you first. Um, be sure to play your balance of judgments correctly so that you can get a good enough draw. <clears throat> but other than that, do you have anything left you want to say on either of these decks? No, the side deck uh, is your own. You know, took out all the fusions because I don't run try and guess in there in your side deck. You just build that for your locals in your regional or whatever format you're in. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's, it's more or less to stall your opponent, prevent your opponent from doing things in a side deck here. And Max C's are there. Depends on your opponent. You have somebody who really wants to go all out and do the Max C challenge with you. That's fine. But most of them playing this deck, they know you're not going to wipe them out next turn. So they. If they when you activate that, they'll let you get your one draw and they'll stop. And leave their field weak because they know you're not going to overwhelm them next turn. And then they'll just start true. up. They'll just start up again. And I gotta ask you, because I know everyone's gonna be asking, what's your opinion on link summoning, exceed summoning, synchro summoning? I know the answer, but I'm sure they want to hear it from you personally. Well, it sucked after synch synchro. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer, you guys. Uh, yeah, they they exceed summoning and pendulum and all that just ruined the game, didn't that it? Blah blah blah. When they start that, I said, "Well, I'm gonna go to the restroom. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get me a <laughs> go get me a pizza and a soda. You go ahead and do your oh my thing. God. I'll be back in a few minutes." All right. Well, that's been my interview with my dad, AK, my teammate, AK, the burn veteran, whatever it is you guys want to call him on this channel. Be sure to leave some comments down below, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you guys can be able to be up to date and notified when I'm uploading videos almost daily on this YouTube channel. Be sure to spread the word of the YouTube channel so that we can be able to hit 1,000 subscribers and be in the big leagues with the big boys and the big girls. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and subscribe if you have not already.